The groups have elected to write their vows. <laughs> so we're going to start with David. <laughs> Anthony. So many mornings after waking up, I often wonder if the past four years have just been a dream. But then I quickly realize it isn't a dream, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. I always say life can be described as a book full of many chapters. I've had some great chapters in my life, but also some complete darkness and pain. Those are chapters ended after moving to Milwaukee. And after meeting you, the best chapters of my life started. Steven? David, you will never know how much you mean to me, but I intend to spend the rest of our lives showing you. You look so good. There you go. When I met you, I was a different person. I was lost, confused, and lonely. You found me. You made my decision to marry you clear. You made sure I will never be alone. Today is the day we get to show the world how much we love each other, but more importantly, it is the day we can forever remember as the start to the rest of our lives. You've helped change me for the better, and I'm so excited to start yet another chapter after marrying you today. I love you. How's everyone doing? Everyone, you guys have traveled as far as Oregon, Texas, East Coast. Thank you. It means so much to us that you guys are here to celebrate us getting married. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Everyone here has played a part in our relationship, no matter how big or small, you've all been very important to us and we couldn't have done this without you. Starbucks nailed one blend on the head and that was David and Anthony, you compliment. <laughs> you compliment one another so well. If it wasn't for Starbucks, uh, we would never have met, and I, uh, we have our Starbucks family here. We're all spread out. We may not see each other all the time. Even though we're not there anymore, we're still family. And thank you all for coming to celebrate with us. I've always been somewhat protective of David, and I have not always liked people, but I have definitely loved Anthony from, from day one. So David and I, almost 20 years, like good, bad, ugly, beautiful, funny. I always looked up to him, not just because he's so tall, but um, he has always been so motivated, so energetic. He has worked hard for everything he has, and if he lost it, then he worked harder to get it back. One of the reasons why Anthony is so successful at what he does is because of your support. Uh, you never discourage his ambitions. You two are a great team, a great partnership. I have no doubt that your love will only grow as you experience even more life changes together. David and Anthony, I'm so excited to be here to celebrate with the two of you. And David, Carrie and I got a chance to meet you probably three or four years ago at a baseball game. It happened to be the longest baseball game of the entire season. Uh, 13 innings and five hours and six minutes later, poor David, I think, was he was a trooper through that. From that day forward, we, we're just so grateful to have you in our family. Anthony is the oldest of our four kids, and you know, when you have kids, you, you dream about what their, their spouses are going to be someday. And I couldn't imagine somebody that is, is a better fit for Anthony. Um, and so really, really proud to, to welcome you into the family. Um, he is a little stubborn. But you're on to a good start of letting him think he's right all the time. That's These are two fine 
young gentlemen, look at them. I cannot think of two other people who are more in love. Anthony, when I think about you, I've known you oh, a long time. You are fearless, you are kind, you do not take anything for granted. And I think everyone here knows that he said things like, do better, be better. And I can think of no other gentlemen who deserve nothing but happiness in life. I think I can speak for everyone who's uh, in this room today when we say that we love you so very much. And if I can give you one piece of advice, it is that it won't be easy, but you're not going to be alone. We will be with you in your journey to the end. I keep coming back. We have talked about this very day, this very moment for almost 20 years. Oh my God, I'm going to cry now. Um, sadly, when David and I met, when we would talk about this, it was just kind of like that conversation that you have with people. Like, if you're going to win the lottery, what are you going to do with that money? Like, this wasn't a possibility. Um, the equivalent would have been a commitment ceremony, which meant nothing. Um, I did stumble across a quote that reminded me of both of you. It was written by author Elizabeth Gilbert. She wrote, to be fully seen by somebody then and loved anyhow, this is a human offering that can border on miraculous. Anthony, I love you with my whole heart and I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Today, marrying the one man who inspires me to always be a better man. I promise to support every new hobby that you add to your ever-growing list, ever-growing list of incredible talents. I promise to love you even when times get tough, and I promise to never give up. I swear to forever remain faithful and love you unconditionally. I'd like to say that this is the happiest day of my life, but the happiest day of my life was the day that I met you. You will never be responsible for my happiness because you are the true reason for it. You understand me. You know me and you accept me. You inspire me and you have shown me what true love is. I vow to always be faithful to you, you and my world. I vow to never believe that the grass is greener because without you, the world has no color. made here today that cannot be undone. And the witness of all, it is my pleasure to announce to everyone here, Mr. and Mr. Hyatt, you may now kiss each other. You know, when I was growing up, not once did I hear a fairy tale that ended and the two princes lived happily ever after. And I'm so glad that I got to see yours happen right in front of my eyes. To David and Anthony. Congratulations and to many, many more. Cheers to Mr. and Mr. Hyatt. Cheers. Have fun, dance it up, drink up at the bar, enjoy the rest of the evening, and please get home safely. say is let's make a pact that we're going to get him to like cheese someday. Yeah.